How's it going, y'all? Back to a new damn video. It's your boy G here to talk about Eagles versus Redskins, Week One, 2019 season. Let's get it going. I cannot wait. I've been so pumped up for some football. Can't wait for Thursday night Packers versus Bears, and just football in general, real football. Getting to see stars out there, everything. You know, the preseason has been such a tease this season. Uh, especially without seeing Wentz at all, you know your your franchise quarterback, a star quarterback, one of the top quarterbacks in the league, not be able to see him play at all, and you, I've been dying to see him throw a ball to Deshaun. Like I've seen it at the practice I went to when I went to the training camp, but not seeing it like in a game. You know I won a preseason, but hey, you know what? I understand resting him, not even resting him. Just you seen what happened with the Panthers with Cam Newton and all that and whatever. It's just it's not worth it's not worth the risk. Especially you already injured two of your quarterbacks. You know what I mean? But let's just get down to the game. Now, we did get news today that Fletcher Cox, uh, Fletcher Cox, Nigel Bradham, who else? Ronald Darby. will be playing the game this Sunday. Good to hear. Um, I personally think um, we, should, we should win this game. And... The thing is, is that it seems like it's a lock, should be a lock, but the problem is you never know. I tell people all the time, people are coming into my job, we're talking about football, I'm talking to people online about football, it's a lock, it's a win, it's a, hey listen, I said it's a rivalry game, it's a division rival game, and no one knows, you know, teams better than their rivals, you get what I'm saying, this is not like you're playing whoever. Now, the Redskins, I'm not saying they're the best team of all time. They, they're, I'm not even saying they're they're a great team or even good, you know. They have some players. Ryan Kerrigan has always gave us problems in the past, always. He's always the one guy, especially since Wentz took over. If you notice, he's a – even the 2017 game, week one, when Wentz was balling all over them, he at least got a pick off him. Was it a, even a, was it a pick six maybe, I think? Whatever. But uh, what I'm saying is he, he he's given us problems, especially in clutch moments uh, with Wentz, Wentz's quarterback. But – other than that, Case Keenum's their quarterback. Ryan Kerrigan's, like I said, Ryan Kerrigan's the only dude who really gives problems. Um, and what's the Eric Flowers, who used to play for the, the Giants at tackle, will be playing guard. That is not a good idea, in my opinion. So I think he played a little bit of guard in preseason because my boy's a Giants fan. He sent me a video of him just getting – Literally, as a guard, just go blocking like this, and a dude just literally just goes and just goes right past him. So he's going to be playing it as a starting, well, right guard, left guard, whatever guard he's playing. All, this, all I got to say is put Cox on his side. You don't even have to. You can put Malik Jackson on his side. Well, any one of them. And so for him to start out as a guard, just like, yeah, put him as a guard. Yeah, let's see what he does. And line up against Cox or him, that's not good. Also, they're going to be missing Trent Williams. Their left tackle, he would not be playing. So I don't know who their backup is or whatever. But um, overall, this could be an upset game because you don't know. You know, we're coming in, and I do feel this. I think we, you know, we show with this game, and some people are saying we should win by this much points, that much points. I'm like, hey, listen, let, let's comment down. Like I said, division rivals. We didn't play a lot of starters in the preseason, especially Wins. Wins did not play a snap in the preseason. That worries me a little bit, but not a lot. You know, like I seen Nitro Freak shout them. He was talking about he worries him, worries him a little bit, a little bit. But let me tell you something. If you remember and go back and look at, you know, look at it. Wentz rookie year, he played one preseason game, I think two quarters, got hurt, did not play another. Did not play another preseason game the rest of the season. Out of nowhere, his name started week one because we traded Sam Bradford. He went out there, balled out against the Browns. Balled out his first debut against a pro team. Week one, regular season, it means something. Then balled out against the Steelers. Then kept balling out. Then last year, did not play preseason. Hasn't been in the lineup since, what, week 14 when he got – week 13 when he got hurt against the, uh, the Rams. He comes in week four against the Colts and does his thing. He's running around. He's scrambling. He's moving. He's grooving. Hitting his targets. Getting TDs. And it was raining, I think, too. And he played really well. But we'll see. It might, it might take him a little bit. Uh, but I think he's going to be a little more uh, loose, in my opinion, without the knee brace on. Now, I would like him to wear at least a knee, like a knee sleeve, because I've seen something where he said he's wearing no brace. But then two days or three days after he said that in a press conference, he went out and he wore like a sleeve on his knee. At least wear something to protect your knee. 
because I always tell people this. When you tear your ACL, I heard there's a 75 to whatever percent chance or more than that percent chance of tearing that same one again. And once you tear it once again, you cannot tear it again because the cartilage is completely going out of your knee to tear it. It's like some weird thing, whatever, but it's happened. Look at Sam Bradford back to back. Uh, one of my guys and one of my friends I know back to back, he tore it in high school. Next thing you know, he was uh, doing a kitchen job or something. He slipped in the kitchen, snapped it like that. It was so easy to break. But what I'm saying is give some kind of protection. You know, Brady plays with one. Uh, River still wears one, but these guys aren't ain't really mobile. Brady's mobile within the pocket. Phillip can be mobile within the pocket. Not up on Brady's, stand, Brady's level, but still. But Wentz likes to run and do his thing. But let's get down to this game plan, though. So we get confirms that, you know, Cox is going to play this and that. The main threat on these this team, Case Keenum says he wants revenge against us. Or from what I heard, the people were saying he wants revenge. Ever since, you know, he was with... The Vikings, and you know, we blew them out, and they had a chance to go to the Super Bowl at their home, and it was a miracle season and whatever. I think always thought he was a solid quarterback. I never thought he was like that bad. Um, I think their offensive line isn't that good. Plus, losing Trent Williams, who's a stud, you know what I mean. That that's gonna hurt a little. Um, they have, like I said, Ryan Kerrigan. Okay, he's he's a he's a solid player. They got Landon Collins, which who, we played him many times with the Giants. I'm not saying he's a bad player. He's a good player. Um, Haha, Clinton Dix, is he even still there? I don't know. Their receivers, they got some guys. But their they're backfield, let's not sleep on their backfield a little bit here. You got Adrian Peterson, who we played, we played last year with a banged-up secondary, banged-up team. And he did rip off a few bit big runs. One for a touch, I think it was like a 60-yard run. Just after we stuffed him out, and went, boom, it just broke it. You, th- you wouldn't think he was 30-something years old. The guy's still balling. But you have him. You also have um, Darius Geis. If you remember, I won him in the draft, but whatever. He tore the ACL uh, first preseason game or second preseason game of his career last season. He's back. And then you got Christian Thompson. If that's Christian Thompson? Yeah, I think that should be. Yeah, that guy. Has always gave us a little bit of problems in terms of the passing game. Out of the backfield, pass, 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 catch. He can do his thing. And he, let's not sleep on their backfield a little bit. I'm not saying they're one of the best backfields. Like someone said on, on freaking uh, Twitter with some ESPN account. Especially, shout out, first off, first off, first off. You know what? Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description. I'm always, I'm always on Twitter. Always. You want to follow me? You want to talk to me? You want to see what I'm tweeting about, retweeting? Or you guys want to check me out? Just talk. I'm on Twitter, always. Game time, I'm tweeting all kinds of stuff. Feelings, thoughts, whatever. Description, always. My Twitter's always in the description. People might not see it because they don't. I don't tell them to go check it, but go check it. But that's out of the way. Some people are saying this might be one of the best backfields or slept on backfields in the league. Now, I'm not saying all that, but it is a really solid backfield um, in terms of the running back game and the run game. And I think they're going to run the ball a lot. They're going to try to. Um because they're trying to get their offensive line adjusted to you playing this D-line. So, you know, they're going to try to do a few things. And Case Keenum has the quarterback. We'll see how things go. And there's still like, there's things people saying who's gonna, we're going to have four and, four and a half sacks or more. I think we're going to have some sacks in this game against Case Keenum. But um, I think it might be a dogfight. I personally, in my heart, think it should be a blowout. But I think that we're not going to be ready because some of the stars did not play in preseason. Wentz is going to be a little rusty in the first half. I think in the first half he's going to be a little rusty, come back from the thing and whatever. And then in the second half, if we, we're still like we're still in it, which I think we, we definitely should be and will be, we will possibly win. But if they come out and just guns a blazing, just boom, 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 beat it, just start killing it. I'm going to be like, I, this is what I expected, but I didn't because I thought we'd be a little rusty because we didn't play all of our starters. All right, guys, go Birds. That's all I had to say. This game is just week one. I'm so pumped up. I cannot wait. Comment below on your thoughts. Tell me how guys you feel about the game. Scores, wins, what, this, that. Let me know. Go Birds. And also follow me on Twitter. Like I said, description down in the description. Go Birds. Light was flooded.